Hi everyone and happy Monday. I hope this week has gone well for you or the weekend was lovely for you. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different from our usual pick a card. Since today is a new moon, I thought I would just pull a few cards to see what might be your new moon manifestations, what you will bring about, what will you bring into your life after or doing during this new moon. So if any of you are out there doing new moon, um, like, spells or new moon manifestation rituals just kind of keep in mind what it is you want to bring about and what it is maybe you've brought about since the last new moon okay so as usual get yourself into that place where you are ready to receive whatever messages are coming for you take deep breaths and let yourself be open to receiving connect with your higher self so that they can easily can communicate with you and with me and let's go ahead and get started i'm going to check what is like the overall message that they need to hear as they go into their manifestation? So maybe not exactly related to what it is, but what is the message that needs to be heard for this day, Monday, June 3rd, 2019? For whoever this reading is meant for, what message do they need to hear concerning the things they are planning or trying to manifest for the coming month? through this new moon from their higher self to mine from mine through me and through these cards what is the message they need concerning whatever it is they're planning or going to manifest through this new moon hmm Okay, so I did take a peek at the second card just to see if that was any kind of relation. But basically what this says is, I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. Now, I've probably explained my feelings about this whole your spirit riding a body idea that we've got going on. I don't agree with it. But I do understand that we as spirits go through multiple experiences throughout multiple lifetimes. So like one lifetime, maybe you're like, I don't know, a lemur, and then another lifetime you're a butterfly, and then another lifetime you're a human, and it's still kind of the same spiritual energy going through these lifetimes. You're the same spirit. So I understand that. And I think right now this is basically just telling you to like um, really embrace your human side, really embrace that you're a human, really embrace all the things that it means, whatever it is that makes human human whatever it is that sets you apart from the animal from the trees from the stones from everything else in our world being a human is a unique experience and i think this is telling you to really kind of dive into the what that means for you and figure out you know how how you can embrace that and when i say embrace i do mean like not just accept as a truth, but to say happily that you are a human, to be like, I am a person, I am a human, and I love what I am, because that's what happens when you start realizing, you start embracing yourself and start saying that, you know, you are who you are, in like, being a human is not something to be upset about. Being a human is not something for us to to gripe about. There are lots of humans out there with issues, yes, but being a human is ultimately a wonderful and beautiful experience, and it's the experience you're meant to be having right now, so why not feel it um, with joy? And when you do that, when you start to accept it, when you start to embrace it and take it in, you're going to realize that you have more love in your heart for not only yourself, but for other human beings as well, and that's going to help guide you in your life, okay? Okay, so I think that has to do with whatever whatever that said to you. Um, take that as you will, but that is the message I got from that card concerning your coming manifestations. So now let's kind of see what it is you might be manifesting. For whoever this reading is meant for, please tell us what manifestations they might they might be bringing about in their own lives from this new moon, from today until the next new moon. What are they bringing? into their lives whoever this reading is meant for starting today may uh not may june 3rd monday 2019 what message might they bring or manifestations or anything that they might bring into their lives starting through this full this new moon what will you manifest Please tell us. And just so you know, I will probably be peeking in the book because I'm still learning with this deck, just so that you're aware of that. 
So for whoever this reading is meant for, please tell us whenever you're ready. What will they manifest from this new moon to the next? Please and thank you. So you have the three of coins, the two of cups. Wow, and the ace of coins. I kind of want to stop there, but um, the next card is the uh, wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay, so I don't know if you're noticing what I'm noticing here. But we got three, two, one. Like it just went down the line. And then the next one is the Wheel of Fortune, which is a number 10 card. Okay, and then you got it on this side. Um, so yeah, let's take, let me see what I feel. So with the three of coins, it generally represents that you're going to need to do some hard work. Um, and hmm, I think the work is almost complete. Because on this side, you can see they're in the process of doing the work themselves, they're preparing, they're learning about, about whatever it is they need to be learning about, and they're building that foundation. But here the foundation has been built, and now you're just kind of adding the finishing touches. You're kind of at this position where you able, you're able to really see the results of what you've been doing. So whatever this manifestation is, it's probably something you've already been working on, but now you're starting to really see how, how the, the bricks that you've already laid, how they're stacking up how things are turning out you're starting to really be able to appreciate the work that you've put in and I think you're starting to be able to kind of relax a little bit just because of this descending numbers um, but also then we have this two of cups which tells me that you're not doing this alone whatever this work is you're doing and even on this other side you haven't been doing it alone so there's someone there to support you someone there to tell you you know um, when you need to calm down or when you've got you when you've got the right idea and so I think you're just you're just not going to be doing this alone you're going to be able to connect with other people this could be a romantic relationship that you've been building up that you've been um getting to the point where you're ready to like get married or you're ready to make a deeper commitment to one another um this could be like a business thing that you've been working on um, i know a lot of people these days are entrepreneurs so it could be something like that and you're finding your new business partner someone that you can trust and work well with whatever it is you're like finding someone that you can communicate with someone that you can connect to and you guys are pretty much i think operating in honesty and operating in love because it's daytime here and on the other side it's nighttime which generally tells me that there's some mystery when there's nighttime but I think in the day you know you, you're in broad daylight you're telling your truths you're expressing yourselves openly and honestly and you're just I think joyfully working together and then I think we have this positive outcome that's basically saying people are going to take notice of the work that you're doing people are going to see and it's not just this abundance that you're you're heading towards and I do feel that very strongly you're heading towards a lot of abundance because um, not just because of these cards, but also because of this, because 10 means an ending. 10 means, you know, something is definitely just about to be over or it's already over. And I feel that this is very positive for you. So I think you're going to be coming into a lot of abundance that is not just for you, but other people are going to recognize. Other people are probably even going to benefit from um, because I do feel that there's some connection with others here. And again, this work that you have been doing, you are proud of it. This is something you can say, yeah, I, I put in my effort, I put in my energy, and now here I am benefiting from this work. Here I am being the, the, the Lord of my domain now because I was you know I started as a peasant I started as a worker and now here I am at the top of my game or at the very least able to see the results of my labor and now able to share that with people and I do think that this is going to be ultimately a very positive abundant um, successful you know endeavor for you whether it's a romantic relationship whether it's a job but it, at the end of the day of course um, the Wheel of Fortune basically is saying that things can go either way and it's really up to how you deal with them. And I do think that because on this other side, it's in the daytime, there may be some things here that you don't necessarily know about. There may be some things that, that you haven't fully um, dove into, like you haven't dove into your subconscious mind um, as you're doing this. I think this is a lot of surface energy that you're facing right now. And I don't know... I don't necessarily think that's wrong. I do just believe that you have to be aware of that so that you aren't blindsided when the spiritual things that you have to add in um, come up because they are going to come up. 
Sorry about that, someone just walked in, so I'm gonna go, but that is pretty much your message today. Like I said, you are getting to a point where, or you've gotten to a point where you're able to, to look back and appreciate the work that you've done and appreciate the results of the work that you've done. And you, you, you spend a lot of time um, laying those foundations and now you're able to share that with someone maybe even a partner maybe it's a deeper romantic connection whatever that is that that resonates for you you're able to share this work that you've done you're able to be proud of it and people are going to take notice and there's a great abundance of success for you so something good is happening for you um, you will apply this to your own life if it resonates with you if it doesn't resonate with you that is totally okay this is obviously a very niche kind of reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone just come back tomorrow and maybe it will maybe the new reading will resonate with you whatever works I just want you to know that I appreciate you being here thank you so much for your time I will see you tomorrow and remember always that I love you bye